Hey, Gazoo. You must be an imposter. Drink. There's Gazoo drinking out of some moldy water. Huh. He moved. I can't be Gazoo because he's awake. Hey, buddy. He's like, shut up. I only got 23 hours of sleep last night. All right, so, uh, don't know how much battery I got here, but uh, I did charge up a little bit. So I'm going to do a Get Me To My Next Job series again. And I got something really cool to show you. We should go say hi to the zoo first. So, buddy, you want to be social today? You going to be social today? Hey, poor old guy. Hey, 15, 14, 15 years old, this guy. And he's got an attitude problem too, right? Right? And he's like, why are you talking to me? Why? Yeah. So go check out my garden down there. It's well, it's well protected by the weeds. All right, so here's what we're looking at. First off, I got to get some gas. Tape. Man, that poured so much. A little water in the back of my poor truck. It almost washed the scrap metal. And, uh, I did an eco center job ye yesterday. That's why uh, my motorized wheelbarrow's uh, so gunky. But look at this little beast. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, this is uh, the MS 180. It runs pretty good. It's been rebuilt. It's older. This I got yesterday for free. This was an old client's who's no longer with us. And he basically, this is like, the chain on this is from the factory. Like it's, 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 it's the dullest chain ever. It runs okay. I've, I've, I've used this saw over the years. Um, I mainly use mine because like this thing was hard to start because it doesn't run enough. Right. But I got it started uh, last year, used it again to dislodge one of my other saws out of the, uh, out of the out of a tree that i was cutting down uh and i've cut quite a bit with this saw till it was so dull and i try i i must have sharpened this chain a hundred times but uh the missus yesterday she was like reg you might as well take the saw she goes she's 75 years old she's like i'm never gonna use that something that dangerous you know what i mean um it's funny when the little old ladies watch you, you using a chainsaw. They, they think you're absolutely nuts. They're like, be careful with that thing. <laughs> you're going to hurt yourself. Uh, no, no, I won't hurt myself. I'm going to kill myself. Not hurt myself. It's a chainsaw. There, there's, there's, there's no half-assing it with a chainsaw. Either you kill yourself or you don't. Right? But this little guy, this little, I can't wait to try him out tomorrow. Okay. And then this one, this one's almost like new. Uh, it runs okay uh everything well obviously it runs perfect uh, uh it's 15 inch bar on this 34 cc's this one i don't know what the 180 is i can't remember if it's 28 cc's or 38 cc's or 34 cc's or whatever it is uh no that wouldn't be 38 cc's that that, is, that that's too small for that. uh probably 28 cc's it definitely wouldn't be 18 cc's uh but the ms ones are usually the 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 ones that you run them all day right so this one is the one I'm, it's, it's the small one, but I'm like so excited because like, I'm going to like just try to cut something that big with it. Just, just because it'd be funny and it'd take me a week, <laughs> but you, you see that big first, second big branch, this'll, this'll do it. You know, this, this'll fall something that big. You'd be surprised what you can do with a little saw if it's uh, the chain's good and sharp. Uh, so rebuilt, uh, just not really used that much over the years a little bit uh the the, the uh peter the the gentleman that owned this uh real nice guy i miss him he was he was i consider some of my clients friends and uh you know i definitely you know he wasn't a chainsaw guy and stuff like that but you know he would buy something like this just to have it in case he needed it but he'd usually hire somebody else to use it but whenever people use other people's tools a lot of times what happens is they don't you know yeah i'll just cut something with the saw and well okay i made it through and they, you know like when i first used it, I, I said this uh, sir your the chain's really dull uh, you should think about replacing the chain i said i'll try to sharpen it the best i can but you know you know you can only work so much miracles when it comes to a dull chain i mean it's not not every tooth is completely rounded on there but uh i mean i it will cut it's just it needs a new chain i'll sharpen it a hundred times and whatever and i don't have the proper files for this one so i gotta get the files and a new chain for this one but this little guy 34 cc's uh that one's gonna be so fun do i need this many chainsaws oh you think i only have three <laughs> 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> of course I have more than three. There's the bikes. I just got to pump up the tires on the bikes. Got this yesterday as well for free. Uh, took about eight poles, but uh, does a nice job. This one, I think I flooded. I got this last week. It did sputter. So I think it's going to fire, but I think I flooded it just because it's probably been sitting for a while. Definitely going to need a new blade, but it comes with the harness and everything. The only thing that's missing is that safety uh, safety thing. Hence why when you start it, you got to have the blade off the ground. A lot of compression. It's a, I think it is 50 cc's or whatever, 51 cc's. It's a Johnson RS 51. These things are really expensive new. Uh, another client had it. I'm never going to use it. You take it. Free lawnmower. Going to make me money. Free lawnmower from last year. Making me money. Uh, the week before, free generator. Uh, old, heavy. <laughs> that thing's got to be 200 pounds. Uh, free lawnmower last year, the year before. It's paid for itself several times. But I'm probably going to sell this one. I'm definitely going to keep that Honda because it runs so nice. But I got to fix the, um, the throttle on it. And I'm probably going to keep this one. I don't like heavy, heavy things because... Uh, you don't need heavy, heavy. You don't need a six and a half horsepower long. You just don't need it. If you're pushing it, five horsepowers overkill for most stuff. If you you need uh, more than that, like, you know, on the power wheeled ones, and the other one is a powered wheels, and it does work pretty good, but it's just, it's, you know, whatever. There's my dad's saws. There's two Johnsorts there. There's the big boy. That's the, that's, he's had this forever. That one, I think he's got it running. It's another Johnsert. I won't hold that against him, but then uh, I don't know. I think he got that one running. This one, I don't know what's the deal with that one. Oh, there's another one underneath it. <laughs> oh, there's another one there. How many chainsaws are in this damn place? Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. I don't know. I think those five. Yeah, five. There's five chainsaws here. Maybe. Oh, where did that come from? Some of them I get on my scrap metal run, then my dad finds them. Uh, six, seven, there's uh, my beloved Ninja Shark. He still runs, but he needs an adjustment. And this is Sasquatch. The big, this is the beast of all the saws here. Uh, the uh, MS270. I really want to get that one running good. So what do we got? Five, okay, so look around. There could be more saws. That old, old engine. Um, but a lot of the stuff, some like uh, that MS270, somebody threw it out, said, uh, this guy I work for, and I painted his, the side of his house. He says, yeah, he goes, you want to take that for scrap? Go ahead. He goes, it's seized. So I took it home, pulled it. It's definitely not seized. Dad messed around with it, got it going. It still bogs, so I'm going to take it in to get it uh, fixed up. Probably just needs a refurbishing. The other one, the 260, I've had that for over 10 years, and it, it's made me so much money. I did work with the 270 a little bit. Needs a new chain, but otherwise, it's it's beast cut mode. Uh, these little guys, I like to get this one going, uh, just because, you know, it's cool to have all these little stills, right? Uh, so what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far. <laughs> Eight, nine. Like again, most of them run. Eight, nine. And hang on. We got to do this like the Sesame Street would do. 10, 11, 12. Uh, 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 elf. There we go. 12 saws. And probably half of them are okay. Now, these are the small saws, right? So I'm going to grab my 260 and 270 just so you can get an idea of comparison from the small saws to the big saws.